Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go Today we are taking a quick trip uh, to Prescott, Arizona and we are going to do a little off-roading adventure so stay tuned. We started heading to a trail called East Copper Trail number 260. It's located just a few miles out of town uh, of Prescott to the southwest. The entrance was a little difficult to find but we finally arrived there and it was a steep drop going down into the trail which we did not expect. Uh, however, overall the trail is not a difficult one. It's probably more along the lines of moderate. You do not need, most likely in dry conditions, a four-wheel drive vehicle. However, I would strongly suggest if you decide to do this trail that you are in a higher clearance vehicle. There's a lot of uh, taller rocks and sharper rocks as well. So once we got down this uh, decline, into a little bit more of a flat part we decided to air down. This trail also is quite narrow in many spots so there's not a lot of places that you can turn around especially with a full-size vehicle like the Ram. I mentioned that because this is an out and back trail not a looped trail so at some point if you don't make it to the end you're going to need to find a place to turn around. So Right here, we're going to air down. We're gonna get the tire, the coyote deflators out, lower these tire pressures a little bit. There's a lot of sharp rocks here. So. Found the nice wide spot so he's gonna back this truck in and we're actually gonna have lunch uh, out here instead of going into town.
I just hopped out of the truck because uh, there's no place to turn around on this trail really um, and I'm gonna flip the camera around so you can see why we just turned around so as we're approaching this incline you can see up in the sky that the clouds are quickly turning dark and this little area that we're in is um, it's at the base of a mountain and it kind of runs between the mountain and this trail so if it starts to rain this can very easily become um, a little bit of a wash area and in Arizona and I'm sure there's other places around the country you do not want to get stuck in a wash when it's about to rain so those clouds look a little ominous uh, and we are going to start to head back right now before we get caught in the rain <laughs> the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 don't need a bank no I'm funded play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something don't take for granted stay humble now wake up it's time to look at the enemy look in the mirror if he is no friend to me it's not working now maybe it's the chemistry it's time to break up so I can make a better me better believe in your mind cause it's everything you can mold shape fire We made it back into town and wanted to make sure that Loki was properly hydrated so we let him get a little bit of water and decided to take a walk around Prescott. It is one of our favorite towns without a doubt in Arizona to walk around nice and friend. have a drink and right now we are walking towards our favorite spot uh, after doing a little bit of window shopping and getting Loki some exercise. Uh, and get him to stretch his legs a little bit here. So there's so much activity on these streets and coming up down the road here is our favorite, which is Whiskey Row. And our favorite on Whiskey Row is uh, not this first bar right here, Matt Saloon, which we actually also enjoy. But next one over is Jersey Lily Saloon and it is an old brothel and if you take that door in and go up the stairs uh, you can have a nice drink on the second floor and enjoy the scenery. Thank you for joining us on our little trip to Prescott, Arizona and don't forget life begins where the pavement ends. <laughs>